first go to Google Colab. You can open previous work from this window or a blank Python notebook, but I'm just going to hit cancel to go to a homepage. From the homepage, I'll go to file and then I'll select new Python 3 notebook. Once your notebook is loaded, you want to go to connect to get it up and running. Once I'm connected, I'll load up the file that I'll be working with. In order to do that, I need to go to the left and click on the folder icon. Then I'll select the upload option. Then I'll select and open the file that I need from my machine. You will get this reminder. Hit OK. We can see here we got the file uploaded. Now we are ready to start working with code, but first I want to take a quick look at the spreadsheet format of this data set so we can have a general idea of what the data is about. So we got the data set here. So basically it has top 10 songs by year and it's got some other measurements like beats per minute, energy, dance, liveliness, dBs. So it's got 15 columns and about 603 rows. Okay, so now we have a general idea uh, on how to work with this data set. Now I'm going to go back to my Python notebook and I'll start pulling this information with uh, from the pandas library with some of the built-in functions that are helpful to work with this kind of data. First I need to import the pandas library. Then I need to create a data frame and I will use the read CSV function to get the data. You will need your data file path inside the parentheses. Now we can run the cell by pushing the little play button or you can also do shift enter and it runs the cell and also moves on to the next cell. So that's what I'm going to do. Shift plus enter in the keyboard. I get no errors. Good. Now I want to display the data. For that, I'm going to use the print function. So you do print parentheses data frame. As you can see, you get a summarized version of the data. You get the top five rows, the bottom five rows, and some of the columns. But there are also other helpful ways to get specific basic information. For example, you can get the matrix size if you type in print parentheses, data frame, that shape or if you just want to do the top five rows you type in print parentheses data frame that head parentheses or if you don't just want the top five maybe you want the top ten you can change the number of rows inside the head parentheses for example Let's change it to 10 and rerun it. As you can see, you can specify the number of rows you want to see. This is also applicable for the uh, tail portion of the data frame. Instead of using the head function, we can change it to tail and you'll get the data for the rows at the bottom of the page. 
Other useful information are the column titles. If you wanted to get a quick list of the column titles, you type in print data frame that columns and run the cell.